Hello my wonderful viewers and welcome back. This is McDutch playing Fallout 4 and this is going to be another showcase video. Uh, basically because um, yeah but my, my last uh, video of my uh, self-sufficient factory raised a couple of questions from some of the viewers uh, how I implemented the uh, logic gates into my factory uh, to uh, you know have the machines do what I want them to do so basically I've set this up with a uh, light over here and light over here with one switch and of course some power and basically what I want to do is I want to have these uh, uh, these set up in a way that when this one is uh, transmitting uh, the light if it's turned on then this one is off and if this one is on, then that one is off, and just using one switch. Okay, so basically, the first step, of course, would be, and I think this is not in the right position. Let's put it over here. If I connect power to the switch, and from the switch to this one light, of course, basic signs, that is turned on. And when I flip the switch, it is turned off. Now basically what I want in this situation is I want this to be on. And I'm going to do that using some logic gates. And the logic gates... That's not what I want. The logic gates that I'm going to use are going to be an AND gate and a NOT gate. And I'm not sure how I can put some pictures in my videos uh, showing you the, the tables of how these work. But if you uh, would Google uh, logic gates and you would go to the Wikipedia page, then it would show you uh, a table with all the, uh, all the zeros and ones uh, showing you how this works. Uh, in short, if you look at the symbol here in the middle, it has two inputs and one output and the inputs are represented by these uh, this red node and the output is uh, represented by this black node and the same goes for uh, this symbol over here this is the input that's the output okay so basically how an end gate works is if all sources connected to the input and it can be from one to I don't know what you want like like even if you have ten if they all transmit power to this node it will transmit its power through the output going to whatever you have connected to it. So that means that if one of them is even switched off, it will not transmit the power. If you go and uh, go to the not logic gate, it's it's actually vice versa. Um, if nothing gives power to the input, it will actually give power through the output, and basically you always have to check and see if the yellow lights are on that means your circuitry is connected the right way and I will show you because if this one is switched off and I'm gonna wire this to my input it has no power if I switch it on then it gets the power. It is, this light is switched on. It gets power from all sources. It's just one right now, as you can remember. And so it will transmit power out. Now the only thing that is actually going to... Uh, uh, I'll show you what I mean. If I connect this one to the input, this light is on as well. But if I would turn this switch off, the entire circuitry is switched off so therefore it is not functioning so what you need to do is make sure that you have your generator connected to your input from your AND gate as well therefore it does get the power and transfers it also onto here but the logic gate itself is working as it should be as you can see if we look at the logic gate uh, statistics the switched power pylon input is zero and the generator is actually one on the input uh, node therefore uh, because one of them is 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 a zero logic gate gets an zero which means it is not going to transmit its power and if you look at this one 
uh, the input on this is zero so the actual output will be one as you can see these green lights around it is act is actually telling you it's activated so with this light off if I would connect this output to this light it should turn on so let's let's do that and here we go it is actually working and as you can tell the input is zero but the output is one so if I were to flip this switch the light that is on right now will turn off and the light that is off will actually turn on let's see if it works and it does Okay, so let's go back to the logic gates and see what actually happened. So the switch power pylon gives it power, therefore the input is 1. And the generator, which of course never got disconnected in the first place, is also transferring its power to the input. And um, therefore it's, it's uh, transferring its power out, giving it an output of 1. Going to the not logic gate, the uh, input from the end logic gate is 1, therefore the output is going to be 0 and not transferring the power. And therefore this one doesn't get any power. So again if I would turn this switch, flip it, that goes off and this one goes on. Now hopefully this is, uh, this is uh, probably the best to my ability that I can explain how I use these logic gates. Um, I hope this was very helpful uh, in any way. If you still have any questions, please uh, uh, tell me in the comment section below, and I will I will try and and see if I can uh, I can explain it a little bit better, or even using other logic gates. I'm still not familiar with the other possibilities that I can implement those logic gates for. Um, so yeah. I don't know. We'll we'll have to see. Some some more videos will come up explaining the rest of the logic gates as well. So hopefully this was uh, simple enough for you guys to understand. Um, please uh, consider uh, leaving a like if 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 this was indeed informative. Um, and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And and so you will be up to date when I upload more videos. All right. Thank you for watching. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.